السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ So the story number is 79 and the title of the story is Prophet Sulaiman and a Bard Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam and a Bard Now a Bard in this story again not a simple bard Not a simple bird, but this bird uh, was a very important part of the army of Sulaiman alayhi salam. That bird was an army officer. An army officer in his army there were Human, genes, and birds. And this particular bird, the name in a Quranic term is Hudhud. And in English, Hopo or Hopi. So that bird used to be the part of the army. And that bird had some special jobs to do. So one job was that the bird was an expert of finding waters. So Sulaiman salam and his army, they used to go here and there. In, they needed to find water. This particular bird had a talent, expertise, to know where is the water, like a fortune teller. Where is the water? How deep is it? Is it under the mountain? Is it in a valley? Is it in a field? how far down, all these things, this bird could give exact description to Sulaiman alayhi salam and Sulaiman alayhi salam is to instruct the jinns to dig the soil and to get the water out and make a well. So this bird is not an ordinary bird. This bird is a very talented army officer. And in this story, we are going to find out another important job the bird is to do is to work as a messenger, as an ambassador. So now let us start from the Holy Quran to find out a little bit more about that bird in chapter 27 and we start from verse 20. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وتفقد الطير فقال ما لي فقال ما لي لا أرى الهدهد وتفقد الطير سلام الله سلام هي inspected about the birds and then he Said, فقال ما لي لا ما لي لا أرى الهدود. What's the matter? Why why can't I see hudhud? Where the hudhud is? Why is it I do not see the hoopy? It is a kind of bird with feathers like a crown on its head. Looks beautiful. In so Sulaiman Salam was wondering where was the bird? Am kana min al ghaibin And he was also saying, Is the bird absent? The bird has a duty to do. Sulaiman was looking for him. 
and the body is not supposed to be absent from the duty. So he was wondering. Anyway, we will summarize the story. And we will jump from 20 to 22 verse. Allah says, فَمَكَثَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدِ The bird did not stay long. So the bird was in another mission and came back soon. فَقَالَ أَحَطُّ بِمَا لَمْ تُحِتْ بِهِ وَجِئِتُكْ وَجِئِتُكَ مِنْ سَبَئٍ بِنَبَئٍ يَقِيدٍ The Lord said to Salaam al-Salaam that I travel to a place O oh, Messenger of Allah, you did not travel. And I have come from a country called Sabah, quite far from Palestine where Sulaiman was. I have come from the country Sabah with very true news, very important message. So here you can see that the bird, he was also working as a messenger, as a spy, like a professional intelligence spy. And he is reporting, he is reporting to Sulaiman alayhi salam. Inni wajad وَجَدْتُهَا إِنِّي وَجَدْتُ مُرَأَةً تَمْلِكُهُمْ And surely I have seen a queen ruling them. They have a government. She was the ruler. وَأُوتِيَتْ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ And for ruling Anything and everything that was required has been given to her. And also I have seen for her a very, a very big or a great arch, a throne for her. So the bird has come back and is giving the message to Sulaiman alayhi salam and is giving few facts. Fact number one, a woman ruler. Her name is Bilkis, Queen Bilkis. Fact number two, she has been given everything that required for the country. For example, she is wise, she has powerful army, she has a strong government, and in her government she had 312 advisors, and under each advisors, or each advisor was assigned for 10,000 people. Very good representation and very sound and secure organization system. And they had very good economy. They were very good in agriculture. And fact number three, that she has a great throne. 
very big, decorated with gold and precious stones. The size of her throne was 20 meter by 40 meter. And she used to sit there. And in her office, when she used to sit on the throne, people used to prostrate to her. Every morning and every evening, people used to prostrate to her. They used to make sis that to her. And in her palace, she had 600 female servants to look after her. Then the bird is giving or reporting more facts. Wajatuha wa qawmaha yasjuduna lishamsi min dunillah wa zayyana lahumush الشيطان أعمالهم فصدهم عن السبيل فهم لا يهتدون. and he gave more reports. وجدتها وقامها يسجدون للشمس من دون الله. And I found her in her people, worshipping sun, except Allah. Instead of worshipping Allah, they were worshipping sons, they were sun worshippers. And the bird is saying, or was saying, that shaitan had made that sun worshipping good to them. Shaitan has made their wrong worshipping attractive to them. That's why they are sticking to this. Fasaddahum anis sabil and is blocking them from the right path. فَهُمْ لَا يَهْتَدُونَ So that they do not have any true guidance. Also, from his reporting, you can imagine a bird, a bird has so much knowledge. A bird also knew that sun worshipping was a wrong thing, a dangerous thing. A bird also knew that they are supposed to worship one Allah. A bard also knew, knew or had knowledge about the true path and wrong path, the path of success and path of failure. And that's how the bard was talking to Sulaiman alayhi salam, and Sulaiman alayhi salam could understand the report given by the bard and he could take action accordingly. The country Sabah was rich in agriculture and they forgot about Allah and with the effort of Sulaiman salam, they accepted Islam. The queen accepted Islam, her people accepted Islam. So for a long time they were not worshipping sun nor worshipping idols. And they were very well, very good. But then after a long time people went back to all this sun worshipping, idol worshipping, etc. etc. And when they forgot about all the blessings of Allah and forgot about to be thankful to Allah. Then finally, Allah destroyed them. And their story is mentioned in, in Holy Quran. And um, there is a chapter 
in Holy Quran named Surah as Saba. So Surah as Saba, and that is chapter 34 in Holy Quran. So it is named after the city of Saba or uh, Sheba in uh, that city because of their ungratefulness to Allah, Allah destroyed them. So this is the brief story of Prophet Sulaiman and a word. Assalamu alaikum.